Because salt water is denser or heavier than fresh water, it actually creeps along the river's bottom beneath the fresh water of the Mississippi. So engineers built an underwater sill, which is basically a wall or levee to slow the seawater. But the sill they built in July has overtopped. Now they're going back to raise it another 25 feet to further delay the arrival of the salt water between 10 to 15 days. Which may not sound like a lot of time, because it isn't. Basically, officials are just trying to buy as much time as possible to plan and ensure that residents who rely on the Mississippi River have safe drinking water. Engineers are exploring other temporary solutions, but once the salt arrives, it's going to stick around for weeks or even months. And the only true solution to this problem is rainfall. The good news is we are in the middle of an El Nino phase and forecasters expect a wetter than average winter, but that could be months away. If you are a resident, you can visit this link to stay informed. There, you'll also find a frequently asked questions document from the Louisiana Department of Health with additional guidance.